I should have known something was up when Jenna came into my room with that determined glint in her eye. Rich, I need you to play doubles with me against Carla and Amy. They've been bragging all week, and I can't let them win, she said, thrusting a tennis racket into my hands. Jenna, my older sister by two years, was always getting me involved in her plans. At 14, I was already pretty tall, almost her height, and my long blonde hair often got me mistaken for being older. I grabbed my bike, and we rode to the tennis courts, the summer breeze making the ride pleasant. When we got there, I realized I had forgotten my tennis clothes. Jenna gave me a look that could kill. Seriously, Richard, how could you forget? Amy and Carla, already warming up, came over to see what was wrong. They looked disappointed when Jenna explained the situation. Then, Amy's eyes lit up. Hey, I have some spare clothes in my bag. Richard's about my size, right? She rummaged through her bag and pulled out a white tennis skirt and a pink cropped top. I hesitated, my face turning red. I don't think that's going to work, I said, but Amy and Carla were insistent, their voices sweet and persuasive. Come on, Richie, Carla coaxed. It's just for fun. We really want to play. Reluctantly, I agreed. They led me to the changing room, and a few minutes later, I stepped out in the skirt and top, feeling incredibly self-conscious. They weren't done, though. Amy tied my hair into a ponytail, and Carla added a touch of lipstick. There you go, Richie, Jenna said with a laugh. You look perfect. Despite my embarrassment, I decided to play along. We started the match, and to my surprise, I found myself getting into it. The girls treated me like one of them, calling me, sweetie, and cheering me on with comments like, you play like a girl. Whenever I made a good shot, it was oddly encouraging. As the game went on, I forgot about my outfit and just focused on the fun. We laughed, shouted, and played our hearts out. By the end, we were all sweaty and tired, collapsing on the grass beside the court. Richie, you were amazing today, Amy said, handing me a water bottle. We should definitely do this again. I smiled, feeling a sense of acceptance and belonging I hadn't expected. Yeah, it was fun. From that day on, I wasn't just Richard to them, sometimes, I was Richie. We played tennis regularly, and occasionally, I'd wear the skirt and top, embracing the playful nickname they gave me. It became a special bond between us, and I felt incredibly integrated into their group. That day was a turning point. It wasn't just about the tennis or the clothes, it was about the friendship and acceptance I found. Playing along as Richie made me feel like I truly belonged, and it was the start of a new and wonderful chapter in my life. A few weeks after that unforgettable tennis match, Amy invited me to her birthday party. The catch. It was a girls-only event. Jenna, ever the schemer, saw the invitation as a chance for another adventure. Come on, Richie, this is going to be so much fun. Jenna said, pulling out a sparkling dress from her closet. It was a shimmering silver that caught the light beautifully. She was more excited than I was, which was saying something. I wasn't sure at first, but the thought of being included in their circle was too appealing to pass up. So, on the night of the party, Jenna and I transformed my look completely. She applied makeup expertly, giving me smoky eyes and a touch of gloss on my lips. My long blonde hair was styled into soft curls, and she even had a pair of heels that fit me perfectly. There, all done. You look stunning, Richie, Jenna said, stepping back to admire her handiwork. I looked at myself in the mirror, hardly recognizing the reflection staring back. The dress hugged my frame, and the heels made me almost as tall as Jenna. I felt a mix of excitement and nervousness as we headed to Amy's house. The party was in full swing when we arrived. Amy greeted us at the door, her eyes widening in delight when she saw me. Richie, you look amazing! She exclaimed, giving me a hug. Throughout the evening, I received countless compliments on my outfit and style. The girls were all incredibly welcoming, treating me like one of their own. We danced, chatted, and laughed, 
the night becoming a blur of fun and friendship. As the evening wore on, I found myself more relaxed, especially after a few drinks. I was fully immersed in my girl persona, enjoying the party as one of the girls. That's when things took an interesting turn. Amy's boyfriend arrived with a couple of his teammates from the football team. I felt a rush of nerves but also a strange thrill. The boys were charming, and before long, I found myself flirting with them, playing along with my role. One of the guys, Tom, seemed particularly taken with me. He was tall, with dark hair and a smile that made my heart race. Hey, you're Jenna's sister, right? I didn't know you were coming, Tom said, leaning in close so I could hear him over the music. I smiled, feeling a bit dizzy from the drinks. Yeah, I thought I'd join the fun. We talked and danced, his hands occasionally brushing against mine. I was surprised at how natural it felt, how easy it was to slip into this persona. The compliments and attention were intoxicating, and I found myself enjoying the experience more than I had anticipated. Later in the evening, as the party started to wind down, Tom and I ended up sitting together, talking about everything and nothing. He was sweet, and I couldn't help but flirt back, caught up in the moment. You're really fun to be around, Richie, he said, his eyes holding mine. I felt a flutter in my stomach and laughed softly. Thanks, Tom, you're not so bad yourself. As the night came to an end, Jenna and I made our way back home. She glanced at me with a knowing smile. Looks like you had a good time. I nodded, feeling a warm glow from the night's events. Yeah, it was a party to remember. That night marked another turning point. It wasn't just about blending in or pretending, it was about feeling accepted and having fun. From then on, Richie wasn't just a persona I adopted for the tennis court or a birthday party. It became a part of who I was and it opened up a world of new experiences and friendships.